Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 12 of House 3 of the Drifter Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And we are pretty much where we left off in the last part where I had sent Charity and Abraham, who I'd brought along with her on her vacation to Salvadorada, down to this uh, dock to fish in Salvadorada. They are around the cantina and he's caught a bass. Should be interesting to find out whether the stuff he catches comes with him if we were to pursue a relationship with him. So let's see. Uh, that's it's kind of funny because we're sort of below where the the world the lot that we're in is, and so I, I'm finding it's not coming down when you're like if I went into tab mode, I would be able to more freely move the camera to get it a little lower. But you know, I don't want to be in tab mode because what we're trying to hope is she's going to catch that twentieth fish, <laughs> and. Perhaps she might reach fishing level 10 before she catches that 20th fish. So she caught a tetra, which she's already caught before. She needs to catch the local fish. You can catch the tambaqui, which is one of the three fish that you can catch in Salvadorada. And you can usually catch it down here. There are two other fishing spots in the world. Oh, she caught her fish. So there we go. We've finished with that. And she is almost at level... She's made, so it looks like we're made, we're going to complete this angling ice aspiration in this part because she's just a little teensy little bit off of that. There, she achieved her fishing aspiration. So she is all done with that, which is one of the goals for this challenge. The other goal is to max the fishing skill, which we have just done in order to complete the angling ace aspiration, but it's also to max the gardening skill. And she's not quite there on that. That uh, jungle explorer she was doing... That's not part of the aspiration. I'm just having her do it. So she's all done. What did she catch while she was here? Did she catch anything useful? She caught the tambaqui. And she... Well, they became good friends. She caught Park, Dr. Dr. Parker's spider repellent, which is useful. Since her uh, logic isn't very high. <laughs> but that looks like that's all she caught. You can catch some really useful things when you're fishing here. But she doesn't look like she's actually caught a lot of useful things, I have to say. But that's not really our focus. For her to, our focus was her for her to catch a fish, the tambaqui in particular, so that she could get that. But uh, that was the main thing. I think since she bought these waterfalls in a bottle when in the last part, I'm going to use one to help her clean up. I'm going to use it. Let's see, is she catching anything there? He's caught something. She caught nothing. You're level 10 of fishing, <laughs> Cherry. You'd think you'd catch more than seaweed. Okay, you're done. You're going to use that waterfall in a bottle. And then you're a little bit hungry. Not a lot, really. But you need to eat a food. As Although she could have also had a shower then. Or, but I sometimes find they get not the nicest moodlets when I do that. So, oh, look, here we go. We got some liquid rushes. Is there anyone here tending this table? Because we don't seem to be able to buy them. That's too bad. We're going to come order our food since we can do that. We're going to order food. We're actually just going to order regular food because I, um, when my sim got in my Jungle Adventures Let's Play, my sim, I tried doing purposely. I did all of the relics and the bases and some of them are curses. And one of the curse, it gave you the curse of the food mirage, I think. And you had to eat good local food to get rid of it and I had him cook something and which I thought was local food but it didn't work and then I realized afterwards I'm pretty sure it was like the food from the secret menu versus from the regular menu and it didn't seem to help or at least that's what I noticed I wasn't sure because I wasn't sure if I was giving I had made food that came from a city living in his case but uh, I looked and I'm pretty sure it was actually something from the, <laughs> the secret menu so that should get that completed. So now she needs to find an area off the path and she needs to examine three traps, which we'll do if we get to the temple. Because, you know, the first goal I had was to get, really, was for her to complete, at least get that 20th fish and hopefully complete the whole angling ace aspiration. And she has done that. So now for her knowledge aspiration for archaeology, she needs to uncover an artifact from a dirt clump. So I'm going to do that right here going to <laughs> that's not where you do it <laughs> i'm going to come over here and uncover an artifact because we bought one that was one of the reasons i bought it so she's going to go over there and work on that which will get that ticked off which gives her 50 points and then she needs to excavate three dig piles or excavation sites 
which I will, uh, I gotta see if we can go find something in this area where we can still have our group gathering going. <laughs> and so she learned that dish, so she'll be able to make that. No one will like it unless they're level three on the sub of the Radian culture skill. But, you know, if I do make it, even though they'll be uncomfortable, anyone else in the house, as long as their teen are up, they can actually learn the skill a little bit every time they eat a little bit of it. So that's one plus side. That's one way of perhaps getting people who you can't control to learn the culture skill a little bit. So she is, I'm going to just go fast. And then after I do this, I'll probably have her go rally the troops again to get her needs up. And that will also, of course, help Abraham's needs. Though she's not hungry, but I did see there. So her, her energy and her bladder are, you know, not the greatest. I still have avoided buying that steel bladder trait, but that probably is a good trait for her to have regardless. And because we completed the other aspiration, we have the points to buy her the steel bladder trait and also the money tree when we get home but the other thing i kind of like my sims to have before they start you know doing things like proposing is have the shameless trait i do not think she has the shameless trait i have not bought her that one yet and that is also 2000 points to buy so kind of we'll we'll wait and see because i mean i'd hate to lose her <laughs> if she <laughs> proposed and got turned down I always find it safer to have that trait, especially when you can't control the other sim. Though they, you still can never really know for sure what they're going to say. But I usually find if their friendship and their romance are really high, it's pretty guaranteed that they're going to say yes. Unless, of course, they have the non-committal trait. Then all bets are off. <laughs> it's pretty likely they're not going to. But I think even then, if it's really high, I don't tend to have my sims get into long-term relationships with the sims with the non committed non-committal trait because I find that um, they're not usually very happy in that. So let's see. Let's get that one done. She's still uncovering. She is actually level four of the skill. Okay, now I don't want her to do any more. I actually want her to put that in her inventory because that will be useful in the next. We're going to put that. She can authenticate it because that's part of the next tier. So where is Abraham still fishing down there? I am going to have him, I'm going to have them come here together, go here together, because I want him to come up and I didn't want to have to, <laughs> that's the easiest way for me to get him to come up. I could either have her go down there or, or have her go there and have him come up with, and then we can rally the troops. He at least has an umbrella. We don't, but we have the waterproof trait, luckily. So I am going to, of course, as I had mentioned, I'm going to rally the troops. So I'm going to get that done. And where are they in terms of points? It doesn't show you because it's a little glitchy. Oh, there it did show. Buy club perks. So now what I want to do is we, since we have already maxed our Selvadradian culture, I don't need that one anymore. But what I would like to do, and I should have already done, is I want to buy the archaeology boost. So that's done. All good. And we are going to just, uh, we'll do a local salutation with him. And we're actually going to rally the troops again, because I realized that didn't actually bring them all the way up. Rally the troops. She's still got some more to go. And then she wants to, she wants to tell a folk tale, but you know, honestly, we can do that anytime. So there, I'm going to enthuse about botany. And then I'm actually going to do a little bit of flirting, because that is one of the things I need to work on. And we're going to see how he accepts this. If he doesn't like it, then I don't know. We'll have to work on someone else. <laughs> I'd rather not because <laughs> we spent so much time doing everything else. She's kind of, her clock is ticking. She needs to get married and have a baby. <laughs> and he's here. <laughs> I don't remember. I think we're going to ask him if he's single. He is? Alright, that was the thing. He's a startup entrepreneur. Oh well. <laughs> this is not like going automatically to... She's going to friendly things, but that may also be because the club gather... Oh, she wants to exchange numbers. Always good that she has a romantic thing come up as the first. The first. <laughs> So she's now Charisma level 3, so she can now uh, donate to online charity. Not really, uh, she doesn't really have, well, she actually has a decent amount of, so she's, they're exchanging their numbers, practice pickup lines in a mirror, and can flatter other sims. 
So we're going to tell a joke about Martians just because that was... Oh, look, they have pink now. Yay. <laughs> they have a little bit of pink. We're going to compliment appearance. <laughs> I'm a little afraid to do a bold pickup line. You can flatter him, which is not romantic. You can express... There we go. It'd be nice to see whether he does anything. She's, oh, she can ask a risque question. But I'm too impatient, so I'm going to have her do more of the pursuing. <laughs> I, yeah, she doesn't seem to... There we go, we'll try it again. We're going to... Blow a kiss. And see how that's perceived. Oh, she wants to do a first kiss. We'll do a first kiss. Let's hope this she doesn't get rejected. I don't know that I've ever had a first kiss rejected. Let me know if you've ever had a first kiss rejected. You'd think they would sometimes. We've already had a first kiss. <laughs> now we can do a suave kiss. <laughs> and now it's a steamy exchange. We can tell, we can ask a risque question. I think that is actually romantic. And we can become partners. So their friendship is pretty high since they can become <laughs> they can become partners in oh look now she's going. Compliment appearance and talk about cooking, because that'll hopefully get his cooking skill. I'm probably gonna change the club to be her club and just have the two of them in it. So that we can keep the base that we already did. <laughs> We can't have club gatherings on our home lot, but, you know, if they go out anywhere, they can have their club continue. Oh, we can kiss in the rain! Let's do that! That looks kind of nice. Well, I guess I probably should, like, actually work on, you know, other things that we can only do <laughs> while we're in Salvadorada. But, like I said, I wanted to get their relationship going a little bit. <laughs> it looks like any regular kiss, but whatever. We can confess attraction. We'll see whether that goes, how that, how he accepts that. Now he wants to take <laughs> compliment appearance. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a picture. I'm actually going to, that makes me think I'm going to take a photo with, I'm going to take a photo with Abraham. I never got a picture of their first kiss. I wasn't thinking. That's too bad. So we'll get a picture of them together instead. So she kind of needs a better camera. <laughs> Hopefully one of these pictures turns out, but it should at least turn out in the screenshots because they turn they come into screenshots too. So we got a picture. So now I'm going to rally the troops because now we're going to back to work. <laughs> we did our romancing, <laughs> which is kind of part of what she has to do. Though kind of nice to get him to be a can we ask him to be a our boyfriend? Ask to be boyfriend. Let's do that. Yay, he said yes. Oh, good. <laughs> there I thought he said no. <laughs> that would have been very good. <laughs> so that worked. So now what I want us to do is I want to... Um, hmm... I think I'm going to travel over to the museum because I usually find there's some excavation sites over there and it'll be quicker in terms of her time and time passing for her to do that. It'll be more instantaneously versus me having her walk across to there. So I will be back when she gets to the museum or when they get to the museum. So we're here. So I'm going to try and get her to survey for a dig pile and hopefully she finds something. Oh, no, she had no luck. So now... Are there any actually just around like I thought there might be? And I came over here with the thought that there's one right here. So we're going to have her go excavate because she needs to do some excavating. I need her to be higher in ex and let me make sure this club gathering is going. It is not. That will help with her boosting her archaeology skill because I'm pretty sure I just bought that. <laughs> Would help. 
There she goes. She can now analyze genuine artifacts, treasures, and fossils and extract elements from metals on and crystals on the archaeology table. Well, that's good. And this is the museum, which I'm not really going into very much. And once she's finished that, I'm actually going to swap her over to the the curator aspiration because I'm going to have her dig and, and see what she gets from this over here. And I'm thinking there might be another site she can dig up in terms of the dig piles or excavation sites. So let's just keep keep on trucking on. <laughs> and now I'm all, and she's done. So now what I want to do is I'm going to put her over to nature curator. And we're going to dig up over there. I don't know, I didn't even occur to me that I probably should have been doing the, had her on her gardening aspiration when I took that cutting and grafted it onto the other tree, but I don't know that she's had enough that she's evolved. I'm thinking maybe she hasn't. Did she catch, get any crystals? The fossils we can work on another time. So she got, and you can do it directly, but you can also do it using your archaeology skill on the table, which is what I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do, which is why I'm not doing it just directly here. So now she needs another two excavation sites, and there is one. And so she's going to come excavate over here. She's still not high enough to be able to establish an excavation site. And I'm going to go fast. Hopefully he's doing okay because he's inside. And speaking of which, there's art here. So she could actually do this one where she wants to view a piece of art because we're at a museum. So there should be some art here for her to view. So that would work. So let's go fast and keep going through here. I never thought of looking at the table to see if any of that stuff was available for her to buy because we couldn't buy the things that were there at the time when we were first looking, unfortunately. Can you, oh, she has finished that. So she didn't get up high enough, which I really wanted her to do, unfortunately. Oh, she can survey for a dig pile again. So let's survey again and see if she has any luck this time. Oh, she did. Excellent. So we're going to excavate that. So then she'll get that ticked off. And then she'll need to survey when she gets to the next level. Let's keep. Hopefully she'll get that finished. And then for the third one, you actually have to establish three excavation sites. So we'll have to see whether she has much luck. And then once you're done all the things you need to do in self Dorada, you can do everything else for the Archaeology Scholar at home. So it is, if we got through enough of it, we could actually complete that aspiration without being in self Dorada. So she has um, done every, she has to authenticate three artifacts, which we can go over to the cantina again, or there may, she could even just do it here. I don't, do not think she can survey because it's too soon. She's surveyed too recently, so she can't survey for a dig pile right now. And what is this? It's an avocado tree. Oh, she can harvest the avocados. She may as well because that will help her with her um, gardening. And that's always good. So let's see. Where is... There he is. He's on the computer because <laughs> there's a computer here. Can we view this? Will that count? Will that count as art? We'll try. Keep going. Come along, my dear. That would be good if you can get that finished. Oh, look, and she can even just use her table right here. There we go. All done. Let's check her needs. Oh, he's gone to the bathroom. Well, we'll leave him since he's busy. We're going to authenticate artifact. We may as well do the ones that we have. So she's viewed that. What's she want to do? She wants to ask Abraham about his day. And once you finish that one, we're going to go over and talk to him. So I guess the other thing is, is you do need to have a lot. Well, I said you can complete everything when you're at home. You need to make sure you have enough things in your inventory to, because one of the things you need to do is five excellent artifacts. Whereas these first three, they just have to authenticate it and it doesn't matter what quality they are. So you need to have done enough digging to be able to collect enough things. So that is part of <laughs> something she needs. So while she can finish it, and that is actually excellent. So we're going to put that in her inventory. We are going to come over here and we're going to rally the troops. I invite to spend the night. We're going to rally the troops because we're not at home. 
And then she actually wants to ask him about his day, so let's see if that comes up easily. Friendly. Ask about day. And then I'm going to rally the troops again. Because it'll help keep both of them in good shape. And I'm going to have her... I guess I'm going to have her authenticate again, but let's see. Let's see whether enough time has passed for her to survey for a dig pile. It has. So she can do that over here. And now what does she want to do with him? She wants to flirt with him. Okay. Oh, oh and she found something. And she can establish an excavation site. Excellent, which I don't want to actually do right now. Because we're going to need to do that as part of the, uh, the next part of this. So I'm going to authenticate again. Because then we can actually have him come work with us once we is, we can uh, excavate together. So that's kind of a good thing. But she's just going to keep on working on this one. But that is going to be it for this part. So she has, you know, made some progress on her archaeology scholar aspiration. And she now has a boyfriend. Abraham is her boyfriend. So we have... We could probably, once they go back home, you know, look into maybe seeing, getting them married, having, well, having them go on a date, get married, have a baby. <laughs> but that's going to be it for this part. We'll still be in Salvo Dorada in the next part. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge Let's Plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.